Welcome cuties, let's create. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be customizing this bag. So I'm actually gonna be using this as a grocery bag and I know it's not as big and I know that it's not the same material. So this is actually a canvas bag, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. So I actually had this idea um, probably a little, a while ago. I had this while I was dri driving with my husband and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to like start using like reusable bags. I don't know why. Because they're cute. And you know, you just get so many plastic bags that I'm like, I don't know what to do with all these. <laughs> and so they just throw away. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll use it. So anyway, I have these, I had two canvas bags. So, um, blank, boring, and ready to be customized. So what I did is I actually started off with pencil and that was a big mistake. My opinion, if you are gonna be painting something, don't use pencil because it's really hard to get erased and it's really difficult to paint over it to make it go away. So I remembered that I was like, oh yeah, at Daiso's, I got a washable marker that goes on fabric, so I'm gonna use that, and oh my gosh, my mind is blown. I love this marker. It has already run out, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. I'm probably gonna buy quite a few, actually, because <laughs> I love them so much. So that's what I did. So what I'm gonna do is, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a bag that's cute fruit. And my husband was like, there's such thing as cute fruit? And I was like, yes there is. I was like, all citrus is just adorable. That's just, in my opinion, I guess, my opinion. I feel like citrus, it just looks cute. Not necessarily that like eating it is good, but it just looks cute, like the look of like, limes, lemons, oranges, like sliced, obviously, grapefruit, and I said, basically any summer fruit is cute to me because like cut kiwi, um, watermelon, pineapple, it's just cute. That's what it is, it just it is what it is. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a lot of bags. So this one's gonna be the lime bag. I'm gonna have another one that's lemon and then orange. And I'm just, that's what I'm gonna do. Each one is gonna have its own fruit. So this one was the lime bag. And as you see, I use the top part of a mason jar to kind of get the shape. And then I just, kind of go at it. I do another, following that first circle, I kind of follow very closely of the line and then I kind of do these like slices. And I honestly, I was, cause I was like, okay, I'm gonna put trust in this marker that it's gonna really wash off. So there's parts that you can see that just, it's scribbly and it's messy and I was like, oh, I started doing flowers and I was like, I should do slices as well. Like wedges, that's what they're called. I should do wedges. So I did a wedge as well as flowers. And I think it's cute. And then I was like, oh, I need to add some leaves. So they may look busy, but uh, it turns out freaking adorable. So again, I use craft paint, mix it with textile medium, and I go at it. <laughs> I did all the rinds a dark, um, the, a darker color of um, what the middle part is going to be. So like the actual part that you would eat or squeeze that has the juice. I don't know what it's technically called, but that's going to, I was like, that's going to be a lighter color. So I had kind of this I, I know this because I've looked at it many times. <laughs> the green is called spring green. 
so just got it at walmart it's like the apple barrel or whatever and just craft paint and so it's like not dark green because if anyone knows me i don't like dark colors that's just me i just don't like dark colors i love pastels like my body just my mind gravitates towards pleasing light colors that's just me and i i don't like i guess they would be considered gemstone colors so like you know sapphire ruby emerald i'm just not a fan that's just me so anyway i was like painting the first side and i was like i should not have done the whole thing lime i was like that's gonna be a lot of bags so I was like, I should have, like, had all of them on one. So I was like, you know what? I have an idea. Came up with this idea, and I love it. Because I have two bags, okay? So I have, and I don't show the other one just because of time. And I cut a lot out of these ones anyway just because of time. So I was like... This side is gonna be limes, and then the other side will be lemons, and then the other bag will be grapefruit and oranges. And I liked that idea, and I love it. Oh my gosh, I think they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't get over them. I just love the way they turn out. I think they're so cute. And then I was like, oh my gosh. And then the flowers, I'll have the flowers be the colors of the other fruit. So on this bag, they'll be pink and orange. Then the other bag that has the oranges and grapefruit, that is going to have green and yellow flowers. So it's like mix match, it's so cute. And oh my gosh, I love them. I am going to be using them all the time. So cute, so adorable. <sighs> I love it. So these took a very long time to paint. I was literally at my desk all day all day and so what I did is I actually so I'd go over and I'd paint everything first and then I'd go over so I'd go through the whole thing and then I'd go over with a second coat and paint the whole thing again it's just so it was a little bit darker and not as um, blotchy is that the word I'm looking for that's the word I'm using so then with the in-between part I don't know what that's technically called either but the in-between part <laughs> um, I used white and just like one drop of whatever color I was using so this one has one drop of a light green and then when I was doing orange I had one drop of orange one drop of yellow so it's like a hint of what the color is instead of just like white so yeah these are cute <sighs> my grapefruit doesn't turn out as good like I said you don't see it I'm gonna post a picture though on Instagram so and Facebook so make sure you follow me on those um, because that's where I'll be posting my picture and I have links in the description down below by the way so um, yeah the grapefruit doesn't turn out well because my marker ran out so i was like i think i have a grasp on how this goes and yeah i i, I wish i would i wish i would have had a marker wish i would have had this marker and i love this marker so yeah i'm using this one <laughs> i'm using nothing but so the crazy thing is and I was getting frustrated with these flowers because what I did is I, I feel like it wasn't as opaque as I wanted. Meaning like I could still see the marker underneath and that was kind of frustrating me. I was like, I don't want to see the marker at all. And I was like, I don't know if it's going to wash off if I paint over it. And so I was just like, I went over it like four times yeah that's what I did and then oh my stars 
my lucky beautiful stars at the very end I was like okay everything's dry I'm just and it says not on the bottle of the textile medium it says don't wash if you just freshly painted it don't do that at least wait seven days and so I was like okay well I want to see if this marker will go away so I got a spray bottle and I sprayed just a little bit oh my gosh everyone needs this marker if they are gonna be drawing on fabric it like went away it was like magic and I was like oh my gosh so I sprayed the whole thing and like all the marker went away and I was oh my I have fallen in love <sighs> so wonderful so yeah I like this bag I think it's cute oh my gosh I can't get over it it's like so summery and fun and I'm like <laughs> everyone's gonna be so jealous everyone's gonna have those like there's some cute reusable bags out there don't get me wrong but I was like people are gonna be jealous of this one because you can't get this anywhere yeah. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.